Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select the text box and then go to bullets. And there's a few different options here that we can choose from. So I can turn the bullet points into squares, for example. Then we'll go back here and this time go to bullets and numbering. And then I can also change the size and change the color. And OK. And now the bullet points are slightly bigger squares and the squares are blue. Then I'll go back to bullets and numbering. And this time choose customize. And then we have a whole bunch more symbols that we can choose from. So I'll select this triangle here and OK. And OK again. And now the bullet points have been changed into triangles. I think that they are a little bit too big, so I am going to decrease the size slightly and OK. Now I'll go back to bullets and numbering and go to customize again. And in addition to the normal fonts, we also have the symbol fonts. So we have wing dings one, two, and three. And then we have web dings. And we also have the emoji font. And we have to scroll down to be able to see these. And then we also have the symbol font. So we have lots of different options for symbols that we can choose. I'm going to choose this circle and OK and OK again. And I think these circles are too big, so I will decrease the size to 100% and OK. Now I will go to bullets and numbering again, but this time select the picture. And then select from icons. And we can choose any of the icons that we want. So I will search for diamond, then select this diamond here and insert. And with the icons, we can change the size, but not the color. Then I'll go back to bullets and numbering and select picture again. And this time select online pictures. And now we can search the internet for pictures. So I'll search for arrow and select this arrow here and insert. And now the bullet points have been changed into little arrows. Then I will go to shapes and select the oval shape and then hold down shift while drawing this shape to make it into a circle. Go to shape styles and I will remove the line and change the fill to be this blue color and then go to 3D format and I will increase the width and increase the height so I can get a shape that looks a little bit 3D. Then I'll right click on this and go to save as picture. And I'll call this bullet point and save. Then select the text box again and go back to home and bullets and numbering. Then go to picture and this time select from a file. And I'll select the bullet point picture that I just made and insert. And now the bullet points have been changed into these 3D looking circles. Okay, so in this video, I showed you how to customize bullet points in PowerPoint. And that is everything.